Hello Pisces, thank you so much for clicking on this video. So today we're going to be doing your October prediction and we're going to be doing your general energy, your love life and career. So let's get started. Thank you so much for your patience on me uploading these videos. I know they're a little bit late. I also have a different background, which is quite nice. I want to mix it up a little bit. I have the uh, numerology cards here. They're really, really good. And I recently just got them, so I'm really excited to use these. So Pisces, let's see what's going on for you in the month of October. We have individuality, number 11. And then we also have time out 37 okay so underneath the deck we have self-discipline so for a lot of you guys i feel like it's really really important for you to stick to your guns in terms of something you want to achieve so if there's something you want to do and basically you don't know how to kind of execute it maybe write it down try to figure out how to actually go forward with it because i feel like self-discipline is basically basically acting about what you say you know um it's not what you say it's about what you do i'm getting so what's this individuality card about we have delight count your blessings and enjoy life take pleasure in simple things always expect the best this is to do with your individuality card okay and then let's have a look and see what time out means discernment all is not what it's sorry <laughs> all is not what it seems stay true to your knowing keep your dreams a secret so possibly you could be overrun by lots of people you could just be kind of not taking any shit from people um i feel like i need to put this down a little bit i feel like i'm a bit washed out um i feel like you're not taking any shit from anyone and you possibly are is this is that better? Or do I look too dark? I look too dark now. Put it there. There we go. So I do feel like you need to kind of figure out... I need to adjust my bra now. <laughs> um, so I feel like for you guys, it's really, really important for you to take time out. It could be to do with talking as well, because I feel like I just coughed. So there's something to do with taking time out and kind of being with your own energy. And I want to see what this individuality card is all about. So let's do that. It's number 11. So number 11 you could be looking for. And the number 37 which is 10 which is completion. So I feel like you need to take time out so you can complete a certain cycle. Um, and just kind of take time for yourself. And actually figure out what's kind of going on with your emotions. So individuality. This card indicates a need to embrace your individuality and be your true authentic self. Rather than follow the crowd, you're being guided to break away from the pack and take the road less travelled. Instead of feeling like you're a square peg in a round hole, you're being encouraged to build your own square hole. By drawing this card, you are being called upon to step up to the plate and celebrate your, uni your uniqueness. At this time, you must have the courage to speak your truth and march to the beat of your own drum, despite the opinions of those around you. What others think of you isn't your business anyway, and it's impossible to please everybody, so you must focus on pleasing yourself. As you honour your individuality and feelings, you will reclaim your personal power and enhance your connection to source. When you do so, you can make your dreams come true. In order to improve your current situation, you're being asked to adjust to and harmonise with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life. Cycles are encouraging you to embrace your individuality as you step into your power as your true authentic self. You will improve your relationship with others and your overall quality of life. I embrace my... This is your affirmation. I embrace my individuality and become my true authentic self. So I think for you guys, there's been quite a lot of um, demand from you. Um, it could be demand from work, it could be like friends, it could be family members, are all kind of relying on you for some reason. So I feel like there's an element of taking time away and kind of focusing on who you want to be. And there could be family members who are kind of treating you in a certain way for a certain reason. So I feel like this is kind of showing me that there's an element of who am I and what do I want to achieve and not what people want me to achieve because the more you focus on your individuality you're going to get more blessings you're going to be more happy with your life and you're always and it's really good to always expect the best as well um I know this Libra energy is really tough at the moment so it's really hard to keep a positive mindset but I do feel like that's very very important and stick to what you're going to go towards okay if you've got a goal in mind of something you want to achieve um possibly like 
um, a certain body type you want to achieve or um, a certain relationship you want, always be self-disciplined and kind of go actually do what you say, you know, and not kind of go off the path and kind of do something else. And also it's important to take time out and relax. And I want to see what else it says in, in terms of this time out card. Um, you may be feeling tired, irritable, or anxious. Um, so it's really good for you to kind of get out of a toxic environment if there's a toxic environment around you. There may be somebody who is basically trying to tell you what to do because um, it says everything is not what it seems. And it's really important for you to be like, this is what I want and this is what I'm going to decide to do. And the fact we've got self-discipline and underneath we have environment is basically showing me that there's going to be a certain change within your environment and you're the one to change it, okay? Um, it also says have energy healing, massage, facial, having a bath, walking in nature, that sort of thing. Um, and it says to improve your situation, um, it's really important for you to have silence and to step away from something, okay? Something that doesn't uh, serve you. And also to meditate as well if you are lacking in that. Um, this affirmation says I take time out for myself and rebalance my body and my life. I love that. That's really, really sweet. So those are your general energies. Let's have a look at your love life now. I hope this is resonating for you guys. So let's have a look and see. Um, for some reason, this is really random. So there's a little, like, with the skin on this horse's nose, I'm getting like a five o'clock shadow. So I'm not sure if, like, obviously this is for guys. Um, I'm seeing like, you may meet a man with like a five o'clock shadow. Like he's always got some sort, he's got like a beard. Like a like a stubble beard, um, and they may be you may be having issues with your skin. Like you may have patches of skin that are a bit dry, or something like that, or like dark patches of skin, or you may have um, I can't remember what that is called where you have like patches of uh, white on your skin. But I feel like there may be something to do with that. So you may have to look, and that may be caused by stress. You know, obviously I'm not a health professional, so if you do have that and you do feel like it's serious, then possibly look into that. Okay. Um, and I feel like it's really important for you to just be your authentic self and let your hair down, you know. I'm really looking at this girl and her hair and her curly hair and I feel like it's really important for you to just let your hair down and be natural, which is so ironic because I have naturally curly hair and I have my hair straight today, so... But I'm not a Pisces, so... <laughs> I'm a Scorpio and Cancerian, ironically. So, yeah, it's really important for you to be your natural self and not to hide away from it because you are made a certain way for a reason, you know, and it's not... It's not like, I'm not saying it's not good to change yourself, because obviously it is good to change to change and do whatever you feel is most natural. But it's really good for you to stay who you are, you know, and not change too much about your appearance if you don't feel like it's necessary. If you feel like it's for your own health and benefit, then that's perfectly fine. But if you feel like it's like external, for external validation or anything like that, then maybe look into just having some time out and really think about the change. If you're thinking about possible plastic surgery, tattoos, things like that, yeah? Okay? So it's just basically thinking about it before you go forward. So we have the star, and underneath the star, we have the Ten of Cups. So in terms of your love life, there's somebody coming in. I don't see them coming in yet, possibly by uh, November or December, or by the end of October. So right now, in the energy you're in, I feel like you're feeling a little bit stuck, or just kind of a little bit stubborn, or just working on your finances. But then you're moving towards the Wheel of Fortune, which basically means you're moving towards a new cycle that's happening. So uh, just keep that in mind, that you are basically moving to a whole new cycle and you're embracing this Empress energy. So make sure you wait until this Libra energy has moved. Um, it goes into Scorpio on the 8th, I think, so hopefully it will start to move. Excuse me. And I feel like it's going to start moving. There's some sort of blockage that's happening in terms of your love life. So make sure you're just relaxing focus on yourself and let people in. I feel like this energy is making you feel like you're a, a stubborn something or other. <laughs> I want to swear, but I don't want to be mean. <laughs> I feel like you're just being very stubborn, you know? And maybe you're just kind of annoyed with life, you're annoyed with being single, or you're just annoyed with your love life, you know? But I think it's really important for you to let your guard down, okay? Whatever that means to you. And in doing that and letting things flow, uh, the Wheel of Fortune is coming around for a new cycle to begin, so that's good. And then once this cycle begins, you're going to feel much more empowered and much more yourself. This is you embracing who you are and being really happy with yourself, okay? And then because of that, I feel like your finances will improve. 
Um, there may be, you may have to stand in your power in terms of your career. Um, there may be people who are kind of not liking you for, your, for the attention you're getting because you're being your authentic self. And people probably may aren't used, maybe aren't used to that, you know. Um, so just kind of be aware of, of when you interact with people, maybe once you start being your more authentic self, people may leave. But that's because they're not meant to be in your life, okay? Just to let you guys know. But yeah, people may not understand this new lifestyle you're doing or a new change that you're going towards, but I definitely feel like it's going to be really good for you, okay? And I definitely feel like it's going to be some new changes in terms of a new person coming in because the star card is showing that it's going to be a change in your love life. And someone is probably going to come in in terms of divinely guided to you. So in terms of divine timing. So if you are single, I definitely see there's somebody coming in soon, possibly. I am not feeling until end of October, November, December time. But they are coming in. I do sense it will be... I think you may even know this person from summer. Or, um, yeah. So some of you, you may know them from summer. But you're definitely going to be rekindling in Christmas time. Um, and you may be... If it's someone new, I definitely feel like you can meet in pers this person and be with them at, in, like, December time, yeah? Um, yeah, that's kind of what I'm seeing. What was the other thing I was going to say? It's something to do with this Queen of Wands and the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you just, you're being really empowered and kind of you're owning your sexuality. I feel like you're not taking any bullshit from people. Um, and I'm really seeing this black cat as an omen. So I feel like that's going to be, if a black crap, black cat, <laughs> if a black cat crosses your path, that's going to be a sign. And also it, it, it relates to Halloween as well. Um, so... I feel like for some of you, you could be embodying the element of a black cat and kind of have maybe have a look and see what the symbolism of that is. And I'm really kind of looking into the phoenix with this here as well. So I feel like a lot of you are rising from the ashes and kind of building a new opportunity for yourself. And I'm also looking at the sphinx. So maybe if some of you are learning um, the history of Egypt, things like that. I feel like there's secrets being unlocked as well with the sphinx. Um, in terms of a relationship, very similar. You're basically needing to let yourself go and a new cycle is coming in. So I feel like you're learning to, for some of you who are new in relationships or just kind of still dealing with um, some possible issues where you're kind of working through them, um, I feel like you're just getting used to the person you're with and you're kind of figuring out, okay, so I've been single possibly for a long time and maybe you're getting into a new relationship. You need to kind of figure out how to um, be yourself but also interact with that person on an equal level so you're not kind of taking too much or giving too much you know equal balance balancing that out and also you may be kind of um stubborn about your finances you may not want to share your finances with that person that's obviously completely fine um so you may have a little bit of a quarry over finances just to let you know uh, but you could also meet someone through work okay so let's have a look in terms of career i'm seeing some of you guys what's that what am i seeing there's like an office and there's people walking around okay um, and there's someone catching your eye, or someone, or, okay, what is this? I'm going to drink some coffee <laughs> while I think about what this is. There's someone looking at you, and you're looking at them. They've moved from a different department into your department, and you just, you just recognise them. So it doesn't have to be in an office setting, but I am seeing that. I always see that with work because it's quite an easy thing to kind of, that's kind of the first thing I think of with work. Um, yeah, I'm seeing you, you seeing somebody and they're looking at you and you're noticing and you're thinking, damn, that is someone really hot. I really like this person. And they're at the copier. You're at a copier machine. <laughs> I'm hearing like, bow, chickle, wow. <laughs> Oh, it's like a porn video. No, no, I'm not. No, it's just me being kinky. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, as I think is someone like catching your eye and I'm hearing like bounce, go wow, wow. So I think you're, there's someone you're quite attracted to at work. Or you've just realised somebody who's just come in, you're like, I've never seen that person before. I'm seeing you maybe chatting over a cup of coffee, so you may approach this person. Okay. That's just a random message. I'm also getting a lot of cats for you guys. So if any of you are like feel like your your spirit animal is a cat, it's definitely coming through. I'm seeing like black cats or just cats in general. So I don't know what that's about, but this is just the general energy, guys. The energies cross over in terms of love and career anyway. So right, career. 
Ten of Pentacles, beautiful. My arm just clicked. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles with the Justice and the Ten of Wands. So you could be starting something new, um, really fitting in where you are. So you could have recently just started a new job um, or you're wanting to start a new job and I see you slotting in really nicely. I see law, something has cleared, like a, a form has cleared. I don't know what that means. It's like to do with law. I'm not, I'm not very good with law. Um, yeah, there's something to do with like a, something that's been cleared. So whatever has been kind of in the works has been cleared and has been um, accepted. There's two, two of ones with the Ace of, um, Queen of Pentacles. So there's definitely an element of you looking out and being sustainable with your finances. So you're really focusing on what is it that I want and going for that. You're walking away from something that doesn't serve you, whatever that means to you, possibly a job or just an old cycle. And you're possibly, I see there's a Queen of Pentacles and the King of Wands, so you may be meeting somebody who's a fire sign or an earth sign. Um, we also have the Page of Pentacles, so you could meet somebody who has knowledge about money, who could help you. And there's also, this could also mean that you could just meet somebody who has a lot of knowledge about finances and they tell you something and you're like, oh, okay, and that would really help you. Um, in Especially if you're owning your own business, that would really, really help as well. And we had the Four of Cups here. So there may be an offer that comes in, but you're not going to accept it. Or you may just think about it until next month and then maybe you'll make a decision next month. Yeah, I'm not seeing you making a decision until next month. I think it might be something you might have to kind of mull over and kind of like... I don't know if the word mull over is the right word, but you're kind of like having to think about it quite a lot um, because you're not sure if it's the right decision or not because it's quite a big decision. Or it's just something you've always wanted, but you're like, do I, do I want it now? I've, I've manifested this, but do I want it now? <laughs> yeah, and I'm thinking a lot of you guys might be getting a new car and a new house and you may be moving in with your partner for a lot of you if you're coupled uh, or moving in with your parents um, yeah for a while to save up money or something like that um, for those they're telling me for those of you who are in school who are, who are watching this um, yes you will pass that exam <laughs> okay um, and yes you will resolve that friendship problem <laughs> okay um, and this is so random guys for those of you who are in school this is really really random okay for those of you who are looking for a new bag you're gonna buy it i'm getting tomatoes i don't know what that means um possibly some of you are looking at your diet and maybe cutting out tomatoes or you are um having more of a healthy lifestyle possibly running a lot more and getting out more in terms of running and sport and fitness possibly some of you are joining a tennis club or group or some sort of group or just like a, a sports group okay i'm gonna leave that there's so many messages that came in i just got I also got a chef whatever that means okay <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching um also for you guys who want to have a career in food and culinary is that the right word culinary um you're gonna do that you're gonna go forward to that okay and uh, for those of you who've always wanted a job in caring or food you're going to go towards it okay right that is enough messages i'm also getting a horse okay thank you fair horse and fairies anyway let me move on and jewelry thank you that's enough cool thank you so much for watching guys i'm um, also seeing a bank right universe that is enough thank you thank you so much for watching guys if you would like to subscribe to my channel i'd really really appreciate it comment down below if it resonated um please like this video i really really appreciate all the likes and the shares and um and all these subscriptions, subscriptions, and, and all of you following me, because um, it, it gives me more, the more traction I get on the video, the more I get noticed on YouTube, and the more I can reach more people, so that'd be amazing. Um, if you like this sort of, sort of video, I'll probably do November as well, so that'd be good. Uh, love you lots, and I do private readings as well, so all my information is down below if you'd like to book a private reading with me, and I'll speak to you very soon. Lots of love, bye.